this uh, where you get your own motiv motivation from that it's so close that you're, you're not too much on, on top on of this on this guy so it's, it's, it's quite close is it where you get can uh, get motivation from my yeah, my motivation yeah. comes from beating people yeah and I think I just <laughs> I enjoy the process more than the than the outcome if you know what I mean I actually yeah. if a race is easy I get nothing out of it mm -hmm. you know that's why I tend to come here to Europe I don't I, I live in America but yeah. I could win 10 70 point threes over there you know and yeah. some guys do this but there's no yeah. one there you know yeah okay so if it's just about the result then it's boring because yeah. I could win 10 of them and not even really have to push myself. And, yeah, okay. But I, I come here because I want to race Timo. Mm -hmm. I want to race Andreas. I want to race Anekalanos. I want to race these guys. And because mm -hmm. I don't care of the outcome, I love the process. Mm -hmm. I love trying to beat these guys yeah, because yeah. we are close and, and I feel that I can beat them and I have to put that together. But I'm not disappointed or I want to kill myself if they, they beat me, like yeah. because I respect yeah. them for the athletes they are. <laughs> okay, but that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how, yeah, I just enjoy the entire process mm. more than the outcome. The outcome is first, it's great, but I think I've said it to many people, the year I got fourth in Kona last year, it's my best, from, on a personal level, it was one of my best ever races. Yeah, uh, yeah. I walked away going, shit, that was a good day. Mm. You know, I had a great day. It just happened to be that three yeah, guys yeah. were better. <laughs> you know, so that's I think that's what's kept me on top. Yeah, and kept yeah. me racing well for so many years is that I'm not result focused. The result is the result of the outcome of the of the process. Yeah, you know, I think I've nailed that process better than a lot of people. It's just given me my career. Mm, yeah. Mm. Is it too much Harry? It was one of one of your idols. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Jürgen yeah. Zak. My my two biggest idols as a kid were Jürgen Zak in particular. He made uh -huh. his picture on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was my idol beyond idols. And a funny story, when my first ever Kona, I was away on the bike, and Jürgen and Thomas, and Thomas was my other <laughs> absolute idol. Yeah. And so these two got, you know, even though I was a world champion and the world's best short course guy, I always wanted to do Ironman. You know, I grew up watching the race. Mm. And so in my first Kona, I was away, and these two guys caught me on the bike. I remember being, fuck. Yeah, this is Thomas Hellriegel and Jürgen Zack. And, <laughs> and I tried to be cool because I didn't know how to act in front of these guys, even though they're... And um, I rode past Jürgen and said, oh man, yeah. is that a Zack attack? Cause to, <laughs> I've waited my whole life for a Zack attack, man. And he, he was offended. He thought I was being a smart ass, you know, but <laughs> I was really in awe of these two guys. And then after the race, he pulled me aside at the party, you need to calm down. And I'm like, fuck, I'm getting told off by... <laughs> Jürgen Zach, but then he went to China and he was he was talking to a friend of mine who he knew very well. And yeah, this McCormack is he needs to pull his head in, you know, he's a big talker and my mate's like, You don't understand. You're his idol, mate. You know, you're his absolute idol. And then Jürgen changed. Really? He's like, mate, he had his, he had a big poster of you on his wall, you see he lined up to get your autograph. He's like and Jürgen suddenly became my friend. <laughs> but yeah, those guys, I just respected. I just, yeah, I just liked everything about them. They were scary when you're a young kid. Yeah. And you watch the videos and they came through hard. And they, they just, they, I liked that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to try and emulate yeah. those guys. And then when Thomas came, you know, he was crazy on the Centurion bike. And I, I used to sit there going, damn, this guy's good. Yeah. Yeah, I used to hear the stories and mm -hmm. read the training. You know, it was pre internet, so you had magazines. And, yeah. That yeah, was, it was cool. Now you know these guys, it's, it's funny, you're like, oh, yeah. man, there you go, man. <laughs> yeah. so, no, no, definitely, definitely idols of mine, yeah. definitely. So, so the German style influenced you a lot in your career? Like yeah, you race in Germany and uh, Yeah, German like, <laughs> like when I first turned pro, I, I moved to France. So I lived in France from Australia, and, and uh, that's when I met the German guys, and Lothar Leder, yeah. uh, who was sort of a couple of years older than me, but he'd been around, I half followed, and. He was sort of my link between, you know, I, mm. because I got on well with Lothar. He used to race the World Cups and then he'd race the Ironman. And, yeah. and so I had a fascination with Ironman, so I used to always talk to Lothar about, what's this guy like? What's this guy like? Because I was so World Cup, World Cup. Mm. And um, yeah, but the Germans have been, I enjoy it here. I enjoy the style of racing. I enjoy their mindset. And, and I think I've worked them out. And I think that's how I've got. You know, I've had issues with some of the German guys, and I've had issues, not issues with others, but I think I've, I've found what is the German strength, 
is also their biggest weakness. And, and I, I think I highlight, I found that out and when I used to attack these guys and, and throw the pressure on them and, and mm -hmm. make them crack and make them question because they're so used to a straight line. And when you take them off that line, things can go wrong. And, uh, and that's how I sort of, and just, I think I've learned that because I've admired so many German stars and, and followed them mm. and realized what makes them tick, what makes them work. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. For no worries.